Hi, I'm Dr. David Theodoro, a heart surgeon with SSM Heart Institute. Today I'd like to talk with you about cardiac valve problems that typically require a surgical solution. In particular, I'd like to talk about mitral valve insufficiency, also termed or referred to as mitral valve regurgitation or mitral valve leakage. The heart itself has one major function and that is to pump blood in a one-way forward direction. The valves on the inside of the heart allow blood to flow in only one direction. The valves have two major functions, to open freely and to close tightly. In regards to mitral valve leakage or insufficiency, the mitral valve opens normally, but when it closes, it doesn't do so in a water or blood tight fashion, and blood leaks back and forth across the mitral valve. When the leakage is significant enough to cause symptoms, usually symptoms of shortness of breath and decreasing ability to exercise, patients usually seek medical attention. The diagnosis is typically made um, by a cardiologist who has performed a cardiac echo. The cardiac echo gives both the cardiologist and the heart surgeon an excellent view of the mitral valve and explains to the treating team exactly why the leakage is occurring. In almost all cases of mitral valve leakage, the opening has enlarged. I usually like to make the example that if the opening of the normal mitral valve is that of the bottom of this cup, in the dilated or enlarged state, the diameter has enlarged to the top of this cup. So normal and abnormal. When the opening of the mitral valve dilates, the two mitral valve leaflets are pulled apart from each other and in the closed position don't overlap enough and allow leakage to occur. There are other reasons that the mitral valve leaks and one of the most common is the actual structural breakage of a certain support cord within the mitral valve. The support cords are not dissimilar to the cords of a parachute and when these cords break in the mitral valve, the mitral valve leaflets prolapse and allow blood to leak. The cardiac echo again allows both the cardiologist and the heart surgeons to develop a treatment plan and a surgical strategy. In almost all patients, mitral valve leakage can be repaired with the patient's own God-given mitral valve, and most patients can and should avoid mitral valve replacement. With today's technology, we're able to approach almost all mitral valve problems through a minimally invasive approach and avoid a breast splitting operation referred to as a median sternotomy. So with the avoidance of a breast splitting operation, we are able to approach the mitral valve through a small three inch incision on the right side of a patient's chest in close proximity to the right armpit. With um, the introduction of the Da Vinci robotic system, we're able to visualize the mitral valve and manipulate the mitral valve in a remarkably minimally invasive fashion and do all and accomplish all of the reparative techniques that um, are required for a given patient's mitral valve problem. Usually a mitral valve repair operation takes between four and six hours to complete and requires a hospitalization of between four and five days. When patients return home following their mitral valve repair, they usually experience rapid resolution of shortness of breath and relatively quickly resume normal physical activities. When minimally invasive, approach to mitral valve repair is compared to the standard breast splitting operation. Return to normal activity is usually spoken of in matter of weeks with minimally invasive approach, 
versus several months with the standard breast splitting approach. So with today's technology, we have more and more options that allow us to approach the mitral valve. Even very sophisticated mitral valve repairs can now be accomplished in a very minimally invasive fashion, again allowing patients to have complete and total repair of the underlying mitral valve and experience a much more rapid return to normal physical activity. Thank you so much for watching.